guys, this is P. and Bea, and welcome to our channel. As our New Year's resolution, today we're going to show you more Korean culture and the tradition. Yes, and the weather is not really helping us today, mm. but we're still going to try to show you how beautiful Korea is, even in this ugly weather. So, let's, let's go! go. We are at traditional tea house right now and I've just ordered a lotus leaf tea and if you don't know how to like do it the lady will come and explain how to do it for you. It gives you around you can drink for around eight times I think. And actually, a lot of Hanok cafes in Korea, they are more towards like traditional, oh not traditional, uh, modern desserts. So it is relatively hard to find traditional desserts. So if you want traditional desserts, you have to come to Bokton area. And I'm happy. <laughs> the difference. It's steamy. to try this one and then we got some chapsanta so it's basically a uh, rice mochi and we got two different types one with strawberries and red beans and one with orange and red beans and then I got some mita lemon tea and one because I'm not feeling really well today and this place is actually very very popular there were already people waiting before it even opened we thought we would be the first one here because we came early in the morning, but no, very popular. Very relaxing, relaxing and morning. yes, and uh, actually it felt more relaxing than our actual healing vlog that we did last week. Yeah, a fun fact: I got really sick the day after oh, we filmed yeah. that vlog. I'm gonna tell you everything about it at the restaurant. Yes, and where is the restaurant? Where's the next destination? Yeah, the restaurant is located in Pondong, which is a very nice area with a lot of cute cafes, restaurants, hmm. and it's not a very touristic location. Yeah, so I actually haven't been mm -hmm. to that area. So we're gonna show you that area now. That's 
and it's one of the four small gates that have survived the Japanese invasion so this is the only one standing left the four small gates yeah not the big ones just don't get confused about that and then if we look to the left we have the chair to go to Kaksan so if you want to do some hiking that is a great start but we are not going hiking because we are I'm lazy really sick. okay I'm lazy. <laughs> I was like, I'm we sick. are lazy oh yeah and she's sick but if you want a hiking vlog let us know because <laughs> we will go maybe for you yes for you i've only done hiking once <laughs> We came to a Michelin star restaurant, sorry, I don't know how to pronounce that, anyhow, uh, this is why this restaurant is very famous among foreigners, there are so many that come here, and they make their own kimchi, which is really, really good. And we ordered the mandu chongo, so chongo is a type of stew, and we also ordered kimdeto, which is mango bean pancake. And the stew, the mandus usually have uh, meats inside, but we requested to have no meats. Mm -hmm. Yeah, which is great because you know, lots of uh, mandus in Korea have meat. Both parents come here and enjoy mandu. <laughs> So guys, the story of how I got sick. Basically, the yeah last weekend, me and I went to have our relaxing day, and once I got back home, I started feeling weird. And then at one point, I just ran to the bathroom and I stayed there like throwing up the whole night. And yeah, I got so sick that the next day, yeah, I couldn't go to work for a couple of days because I was just feeling terrible. And then I just had to suck it up, take some Tylenol and go to work because I couldn't just stay like a week off from work. So yeah, it was really terrible. But yeah, now back to the restaurant. Um, so the bindeto we ordered, if you compare to Gwangjang, Shijang, like the market, it's a lot thinner, like yeah. way, way thinner and less oily, which I guess healthy. Mm -hmm. I don't know. And I just realized I have a kimchi stain on my <laughs> jumper. Oops. Yeah. And the kimchi here too, they depending on the season, they give you different side dishes, which is great. But my favorite one is definitely the, red. the radish one. I'm not a big fan of the actual kimchi kimchi, but the radish kimchi is uh, my favorite. And gaktuki. Yeah, gaktuki are also very good. Yes. And they also have different kind of soups and different mandu, different kind of mandu, and you can buy them here. Yeah, it's in the, the freezer, so you can just take it, or not take it out, yeah. just ask them. <laughs> <laughs> ah, we are so full now. The restaurant was definitely Michelin Tia. Yes, it was very good. And now we're currently waiting for the bus because we're going to go to a very popular place. I'm sure most of you guys know about this place. Hint, Hanok.
you guessed right everyone, we are at Pokton Hanok village and the houses that you see around us, most people actually live in them. Mm -hmm. And this is why you can only come here at specific hours, mm -hmm. but even when you come, you have to be very, very quiet. Yeah, you gotta and be respectful. respectful. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And not only that, you can experience like Hanok stays. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so if you want to experience the Hanok lifestyle, then you can do so, rent a place out. And they're very modern, so you got aircon and floor heating, so you won't be too cold or too hot. Yes, and on our way here, we wa we were looking for mm. pang, but they didn't have any, so we got a hot dog instead. But this one is a no, it's different, a different one. version, yeah. so it's much lighter. It's not fried. Yeah, it's not fried. Mm -hmm. And now we are gonna try it. Mm. I've never tried this version of hot dog. It's good. Mm. It's good. Oh, it's cold. Mm. <laughs> it's cold. I prefer the normal one. Mm. You like this one more? I like the normal one better. Mm. But this one is yeah. cold. Mm. If it's warm, maybe it will taste better. <laughs> both haven't been to Pukton Hanok village for a long time and compared to our memory it's much smaller it is which is quite weird because there are not many people around and also mm. a lot of the cute little stores that were here closed down because of covid i'm so sad yeah really sad yeah but anyways like most of the stores here are all written no all, most of them are written in hangul which is pretty neat mm -hmm. and in this era there are also a lot of hanbok rental stores so if you want to try on the traditional mm. korean uh, dress you can do it here we don't recommend in winter because no. it's super cold in winter but if you want to do it you can still do it but make sure to wear heat tags or a lot of layers underneath to stay warm if you're interested try it out oh. we are going to the subway station now and we were trying to find some pungopang on the way but it was a very wishful thinking yes we hope that you enjoyed today's vlog and we're gonna see you guys in our next video bye